Whoops. Where's that ring? Ah, uh, there it is. Uh, this looks alright. I think we're gonna tuck this in a little bit. Right in there. A little of a sketch. Make it look really nice. More polygons. Wanna get the volumes kinda locked in. Perhaps we need that bunch there. Perhaps the bunch will be more in the front. Yeah. More dynamic. Yeah. That's the right call. Uh, I was thinking about that uh, slunt, but I think I'm gonna do something even cooler for the shield. Something uh, Aegis related. Hey Jay, what's up? Io? No, Io has no sets, not released yet. Sla Slotharina? <laughs> Uh, actually, I'm wearing a Durag most of the time. You just have to catch me uh, with the with the Tuk. <laughs> but yeah, I get that a lot, man. Thank you, Samir. Appreciate it, man. Nonetheless, thank you. Fratilios, yes, absolutely, man. It's called uh, No Board. Uh, look it up on Google. You'll find it in two seconds. Uh, N O H Board, I believe. Uh, let me double check for you. Yeah, got that right. <laughs> I always forget. Oh shit, Max! 
Oh, that volume is way too low for that now. <laughs> you missed your song, your donation song. Here, I just turned that back up. Max, thank you so much, man. Appreciate the sub. Brings us closer to our giveaway. 26 out of 30. Thank you, man. Enjoy your perks. Oh yeah, also we're gonna give you 250 uh, extra credits. Two fifty. There you go, man. Enjoy. Load it up. Right on. All right. Am I able to preview it with the Arcana? Yes, we will. Uh, not right now, but when we get into the game, uh, we'll be able to do that. Oh shit, Max, you went home to get your uh, your wallet? Dude, that's amazing. That's that's really cool, man. Thank you. Very cool of you, man. Hey, Steve, what's up, man? You have different accounts, Ms. Engineer? What happened to Pudge's Psychopath set? Ah, uh, I can't talk about it, man. But, uh, might see it later. Maybe a little bit different. We'll see, man, we'll see. Can't talk about it. Stop trying to fix this. It's not gonna work. Need more polys. Let's move on to somewhere else. Used to be Silent Jones. Wow, Psycho X. That's never good. All right. Well, welcome back, uh, reincarnated and Miss Engineer. <laughs> I've seen her here uh, uh, quite a few times as Miss Engineer, though. Hey, Jay, what's up? What about the Blood Seeker set? Uh, we're gonna push that into a live workshop chest. Yes, I did Star Wars stuff, absolutely. Me too, huge Star Wars nerd. Oh, right on, Orchid. Have you ever tried modeling directly onto the monitor, you know, with the Cintiqs? Uh, yeah, I have. I've used them before. Um, they didn't, I didn't really uh, find them completely necessary, and there was a concept artist that really wanted to use the one I had at work, so I gave it to him.
Seuss is not available on the workshop. Man. They haven't released any of that information in Force Blood. I just want to say you make some of the highest quality sets. Looking forward to the Star Ladder 12 chest. Wow, thanks, dude. Uh, yeah, appreciate it. Uh, the whole team from the lab workshop, man. Thank you. You like that TA out of the chest? Awesome. Thank you, Steve. Very kind as well. Very nice of you guys. Thank you. Now, I'm gonna emphasize a little bit of the cloth here where it starts falling. There'll be a lot more tension than, than at the bottom. Even though it's dragging, uh, there'll be quite a bit of tension here where it's stretching the most. Because then it rests on the ground and the tension's less. So we're gonna emphasize this a little bit here and there on this turn. Oops. Wrong way. Gotta think about weight when you're making uh, cloth. That's uh, your number one uh, worry and uh, should be your number one focus on creating cloth and drapery and things like that. How is the weight changing it? How dense is the material? And then obviously on top of that, the style that the game is in. And combine those things together and see what you got. Pretty good for uh, low polygons. Sea brush, low polygons. I know that that uh, Wraith King for that bundle, hero bundles we created, uh, got a lot of really good attention. This new tombstone and his refresher blade. He actually tosses the refresher blade as a stun too. Really neat. Really happy with it. Oh crud, uh, we're gonna give some away, so if you want to wait for that, or uh, try your luck at the chest. Hell yeah man, the cape. Long ass cape, it's gonna be great. Dragging in, on the floor. And it makes up for the space that we're losing on the flags, you know, as a silhouette from the top. We'll have the, uh, his, her cape in the back, so... I think that's, that's a, the reason why I decided to go with it, you know, it still kind of captures that Silhouette, even though it's not the the, the the whole volume, you know, as a silhouette, it still captures and uses that space in the back. Hopefully, it'll fly and people will vote for it and Val will like it. Why does the TA set look good in the workshop, but not so good in game? Actually, in game it looks fantastic. It's just on the front view. It's like the model's not built for that front view. You know, it's uh, uh it's really odd looking from the front view. For but from the top. Uh, I think it looks it looks great. We're super happy with it. You got the TA in your second unbox? Oh man, it took me four, I believe. I've only unboxed the chest, I think, five times. And I have a whole bunch of other ones to, uh, to unbox and give away. The bottom of the cape is gonna be tattered and dirty from Dragon. Of course, of course, man. Make it, we're gonna rip it apart and whatnot. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Let's try to diversify uh, the folds a little bit. Try to get more detail in them. Bit more unique.
Whoops. That work. Yes, we get self-mates of items that get into the workshop. Traps triggered? What? You like to mix and match some of your sets? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool, man. <laughs> nice crowd, very nice. You beat me to it. Or anybody else for that matter. For the song names? No, there's no commands for it, but here, I'll tell you what song it is. If I get to it in time. It's called, it's Messiah by... Lazio. Way better. Save that. Don't mess up our density build. Right. Thank you, Orchid. What's a good basic item to make a uh, for a novice like yourself, Steve? Um make a weapon or um, an arm guard or something like that something that's not organic something that is uh, yeah like a, a sword or yeah I mean those are those are the best things to go about because you you learn how to do the you know flatter stuff and not as detailed things and uh, get, get used to the programs that way that's bet I fix this area so bad, but I can't. Not in the subdivision. A Pugna ward. That'll work. Alright, I think we're going to go to our next subdivision here. Let's do it. And this subdivision, okay, see, it's a little bit smoother. Oh my god. Alright, 
That was weird. Alright, so we're gonna continue to sketch some of this uh, folds a little bit harsher now. Now that we have more polygons. Oh yeah. Advice for somebody coming back into modeling, the last time that you seriously modeled was uh, in GMAX making flight simulator mods. Kinda have an uh, itch to get back into 3D work. Crowds got you covered, man. Blender is a good way to start because it's free. And it can do a lot of the things. Uh, it can, kinda, can do even a little bit of high poly stuff. Uh, should, get you, uh, should get you going, man. That is good advice. G Max, wow, that was like the, the free version of 3D Max uh, some years ago, right? Yeah. Kind of like soft to module. Same thing, I, th I think. An old version of Maya? Yeah, that'll work. It all work, man. They all work. They all are essentially the same. It's just some of them are stronger and uh, have better UI and some better tools. But essentially, you're uh, you're moving vertices around. Pixel pushers is what we are. Oh, this skip's gonna take a long time. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Oh, we need another subdivision here. Alright, we'll just sketch this a little bit. Come back to this part later. Yeah, there's not enough polys there. Michelangelo would be proud. <laughs> Probably wouldn't. He'd be like, what the fuck? You're really messing up this cloth. Dude, those guys worked with that on Anduki. I can't imagine. I fuck up all the time. That's right, uh, all, all of that stuff is free to students, all you need is a student uh, email address and you can uh, use their programs for free for non-commercial stuff. For educational purposes. this line there must be like an extra vertice there that oh there is you piece of crap all right it's all right fix it later <laughs> have ever worked with hue on tablets nope Any plans on making a courier? Yep! We'll make one for our live workshop chest. And then we have an, actually another one uh, for a tournament that is interested in us making one for them. That will be for late April, I believe. We're gonna be starting on that courier. And earlier than that for our live workshop one.
But yeah, we've uh, we've meaning to jump on some couriers. Been too busy. Good problems. Good problems. Always with a wake up. Yeah, there you go. A business got you, man. Do that pencil trick again. <laughs> uh, st relaxes my hand, dude. Here's another one. Whoa. Flick it across your hand. You pick it up with your pinky and s flip it across. Really quick. And then this one. This is my relaxing one. The other one's just. That's how I was bored and I learned it. <laughs> Guess you'll stick with uh, your artage. Oh well, yeah. Just during your spare time, man. See what you uh, see what what sticks. See what you enjoy doing the most. And yeah, just push it every now and then. See what you get good at. What what do you enjoy the most? Wacom doesn't ship to your country. Wow. I guess there's always eBay. Southeastern UK, huh? Yeah, try eBay, dude. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Good song. How was I doing here? But she oh, with this one. Me, these are the stories we will tell as I stood frozen. Infinite, I almost fell. But I got a feeling in my heart starts beating a sudden rush of feeling alive. This is freedom, and I won't change. I won't Uh, Schultz, this is our sea brush that we're gonna be baking into the low polygon that will work for Dota. But this will actually fake the engine to thinking there's small polygons with this thing called a normal map. So that's why we're doing our high poly here. And also for the self shadowing texture that we'll bake out and some lighting passes to work with our diffuse texture, our color texture, our in game texture. Make sense? Yeah. I should make a, a command for explaining that. Make it easier for you guys so it can be more of a longer explanation. Switch over to a website or like a page that explains it with diagrams and whatnot. A lot of people have that question. And it's a pretty long answer if I want to explain it fully. But hopefully you get the idea with what I mentioned. Or maybe link you to somebody that already describes it with diagrams or something. <laughs> I don't have the time to do that. I mean the diagram. Work a little faster. Gotta move on.
Yeah, the touch is useless. Yeah, the only time you really want to do your your normal map in Photoshop or a 2D program is when it's like micro detail, like if you're doing pores, uh, leather, a leather texture that kind of like maps over your whole model. Don't waste your time doing it in ZBrush if it's for something that goes over everything. You know, just don't bother having to subdivide to get that density in ZBrush. Just do that on Photoshop. I think you're out of this. Yeah, yeah, it's not that complex, Seth, once you wrap your head around it. Oh, hey, uh, Sun Warrior fan. Welcome, Sentinel. How do you like it, man? We worked really, really hard on that set. Twice. <laughs> I had to remake that set uh, or parts of that set twice because my hard drives died uh, that year and I lost a whole bunch of work. Sucked. A rough year for Sith. There. Let's kill this off around here somewhere. There's some volumes on there. Nice, awesome. Uh, don't speak Russian, Barsik. Translate it, please. Yes, Nash, of course. Oh, Abyss got you, okay. <laughs> Everybody helping out, awesome. Thank you, guys. Alright, let's make this overlap happen here. So what we want to do is push this guy in, very thin, add a little bit of uh, change, make this look feel like a layer. And yeah, it's gonna look rough, but that's okay, we'll fix it later. It's the volumes we're making right now. There we go. Like a layer now. Uh, the other there layer, and even another layer.
Rush are the best. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Walk in the forest today and now it's pouring. No umbrella? Is there any chance Valve's gonna allow artists to make Arcana quality sets? I'm sure. I'm sure they will. Marsic said, Mom, I'm on TV. Oh, okay. Also, alright, thank you. <laughs> I guess. Oh, this cape. How long are you gonna be streaming? Let's see, what time is it? 2.30? Holy shit. Probably a couple hours. Uh, I really wanna at least finish the cape. We're supposed to do the shoulder pieces as well, but... Uh, with the... With the amount of work we're putting into the cape, um, that doesn't seem too reachable. So we'll try and finish the cape. A couple hours. I promise nothing. Don't worry about all the pixels, uh, this is still uh, one subdivision below what, where we want to end up anyways. Thank you, Orchid. Well, that would be different crud. Uh, for it to be Arcana, the whole body would have to be replaced. So, uh, yeah. That would have to be one of the things that would have to happen before it was. Uh, uh, Double check something here. Okay. Not a bad cut, okay. Texara, it's gonna be baked down to a low polygon by normal map and limit occlusion uh, into this.
Oh my god, I got him. Probably alpha that shit out down there or something. Bring something up. Yeah, that's the difference, Orchid. Entire base model is changed, as opposed to just items. Hey, you why? No, no banners. The process for making normal maps, uh, you grab your, uh, hi your high poly mesh, you decimate it to lower a little bit, but kept, keep most of the detail. Export that to uh, X normal. From X normal, you have that and your low poly there, and then you run the program and you bake down the normal map, and then you like out the ambient occlusions, and you end up with the textures that you bring into Photoshop, and you start texturing those. And you can do light maps too from different programs, but that's a little more technical. Yeah, I'm gonna put a, a flag attached to her spear, so it'll it'll have new bones on it and a, something like that. So we'll still implement the flag on her, but I just. We're pulling away from having it on her back. Let's see if it flies. The no mask on the TA set? I disagree, man. I don't think you needed the mask on her. Um, besides, she's an assassin, you know, it works if she's disguised as something else. You know, she wouldn't want to have that mask on her at all points. Uh, if she's disguised or whatnot. So yeah, I disagree with the whole mask thing. I don't I don't see it that way. As for the flags, maybe. But uh, from the top view, it, does, it still uses that space for the silhouette, you know, that big area with her flags. So um, that's why I decided to go with uh, the long cape. I think it still works in that sense. And uh, also planning on putting the flag hanging on the, on the spear. And we'll add some extra bones to have it use the physics. So we'll see. I mean... I think it's more unique this way. It still feels like Legion Commander to me. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. If it's too far and the kit doesn't work, uh, then we'll cross that bridge and make a separate atom with uh, some sort of flags or something so that it, it works. But I think this is uh, more unique and it's still it's still readable as Legion Commander. And yeah, just another take on the character. I like it. I think it'll work. Well, that's alright man, to each their opinion, that's cool. I hear you. I respect and disagree with you sir. <laughs> That's cool too, Orchid. Not on Seabrush, Mr. Finally. Uh, we have it set up uh, on in low poly though. Do I use this in Teak? Nope. Uh, logo on the cape? Actually, no, I don't think I'm gonna put any logos on the cape. I want the detail to stand out and then some dirtiness and we're gonna rip up the back a little bit. 
Uh, the shield itself is gonna have a really complex design on it. And then a little bit, a different one on her uh, crutch plate. And then we'll do something interesting with uh, the leather here. We'll cut it up and put some bolts, things like that. Yep, 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 yep. I know, Samir, I know. No secret. Otherwise, I would turn it off. I am well aware. No biggie. Trust me, it's nothing interesting. <laughs> Not for you guys, anyways. Start flattening some of these guys out and get the shape that we want it. Will I retain that long LC hair? Uh, the one you guys see there? Yeah. I'm gonna try to and figure out how to do that.
I do the low poly first, <clears throat> uh, the way we work. I model that in another program, in Soft Image. You can use Blender or Maya or 3D Max or whatever. You're welcome for the answers. Hey Fabio, you wanna see the overall? There you go. Part of it anyways. Let's try and work a little bit faster here. Whoops. Uh, I'm not on the right model. Right? There we go. Strange. A little weak. Thank you, Fabionski. 11 out of 10. Woo. That's a high rating, I think. We'll make custom ability icons uh, if we have time. We have time. Uh, the thing is, we're not working on one set at a time, we're working on many sets, so, uh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see if we have time, man. Would love to. Shit. 
Shadow Prize. Hey, man. Good to see you, too. Half a year ago? Where the hell you been, man? We've been here. We've been here. We've been around. How much time did I spend a low poly? I did the low poly in one night, and then the second night I finessed it a little bit. And not really, just have, like... Maybe like a night and... Three hours? So, let's see, the first night was like... Eight hours altogether, I think, for the low poly. Here or there. Add a few, take a few. So now you guys can start seeing um, all those uh, rough looking uh, brush strokes that I was doing before just to kind of sketch out something. So you can see the, that, you know, the effect taken, you know, happening right now. Uh, now that I'm, I'm smoothing those initial um, blueprints, it's coming together for that look that we wanted. How much demand is there for good textures? I know that modelers are in hot community, but are the good textures still thick? The ground really has to be. Uh, no, good texture artists are hard to come by, man. Absolutely. Texturing is difficult. Good texturing. Unique. Making stuff look unique. With textures is def definitely a uh, commodity. A commodity. Um, a lot of artists, or even I guess some set creators, you know, um, a lot of stuff texture-wise ends up looking the same. Because uh, a lot of people will use, you know, like uh, some of the nice workflows. Because, you know, they do work. But at the same time, a lot of the stuff ends up looking the same because everybody uses the same kind of method of baking lighting or uh, or baking the their high poly and they just end up with that instead of going through it and stylizing it and, you know, giving it a more special of a touch. So, I mean, that's that's something I look for when I'm buying some cool sets on the workshop from other artists. And some artists do a really good job doing that. So yeah, that's kind of the stuff that I look for as well. That's a really strong design, a really unique set. Something that takes it apart from uh, his original set that's already there. And on top of that, from other sets as well. Everybody has different tastes. Now this thing is going to be tricky to fit into the UV space. 
Actually, no, I think the flags have more UV space, if I remember correctly. I've been jumping around a lot of different models. Let's see if that'll work. Or we forget. Oh my god. Take a look. Extra space for our back item, which is the flags, but it's our cape in our case. Uh, 256 by 256. But shickles. Yeah, that's gonna be tricky, but we'll find a way. Shadow Prize, now you're following us, man. Keep up the good work. PS, love your amazing sets. Big thanks. Awesome, thank you, man. Thank you from the Lab Workshop team. Sorry, Templar Assassin set, and it's awesome. Oh man, thank you, uh, No Vavrio, one four seven. Thank you, man. Manny, have you thought about trying out the lion head logo from from the LC model in Dota One? Uh, no, I don't really want to take too much from Dota One. Um, um, yeah, I, I don't. I want to stay clear from that stuff. I think. I mean, to that degree, you know, having like the same logo and things like that. I think that's a little too much. You know, any of that blizzard space stuff, it's uh, uh kinda hey, nice. Oh, we're any more, yeah, any more polygons for this section. We'll just we'll just do a quick pass on it and we'll worry about it next subdivision. And this section we'll cut this way. And one more right here. This will work, this will work. Thickness follows through. Right. Oops. Oops. I gotta cut that again. All right. Move on. Let's get this uh, this current pass done. Bart needs some help. Mm -hmm. Where do we follow it? I think this one. Push it this direction. And then twist it a little bit as we go around this part. And then we'll add some volume to it. Next subdivision, just not enough polys there, that's okay. Okay, man. Go fix it. Whoops. Need some help here. In other words, we will wait. 
rest of this stuff is okay for now. Come back to it. Hey, what's up, DJ? Music is pretty chill. Not bad. I drank like eight cups of coffee. <laughs> Be a different story, no doubt. Ah, fuck that line. Bugging us forever. There we go. Picking up the song, I mean. Alright, time to go to our bees. Whoa, what? Uh, I'll see. Thunder Dash. One B. Good morning from Germany, Sith and Crew. What's up, uh, Timber? Timber Demon? It's uh, late in the morning, I guess, or early in the morning here. California. What's up, man? What are you up to today? Chilling at home? Going to work? What's on the menu for you, man? Here with us, Timber. The meta cap? Yes, it is QW under dash pewter. I should have typed it. You'll get it though, you'll get it. My go to uh, material when I'm texturing. Or, oh, sorry. Well, I guess we are texturing in, in a sense, but um, yeah, when I'm sculpting. ZBrush. Shows, uh, shows a good. Preview for what your emulate cushion might be able to do. To some degree. Give the worst interview of your life today. Where would you interview him, man? Hey, Gumbata, welcome back. I'm good, man. I'm good. Working at home, Timber? All right. Hey, DJ, we're working on a Legion Commander set. We're doing the Seabrush Cape for her right now. It's taking uh, longer than expected. Usually with our Seabrush, right? We go uh, the extra miles for our seabrush stuff, which is good and bad. Name of the set? Don't have a name yet, man. You're feeling creative? Go for it, man. Go for it. Throw some names out. Spartan. Spartan-ish. But don't just bite off Spartan stuff.
At a corporate law firm? Woo! Yeah. That, I'm sure, was very difficult. Can't even imagine. I'm gonna break some of these lines a little bit here. A little too sharp. This middle section. A little too much tension. Put those out a bit. Hellenic commander set? Hey, Death, David. Legion is your favorite? Right on. I'm working on Silpred as hell to let my Pudge wear your mask. Oh, awesome, dude. The Mad Harvester. Even if you can land the hook after 2,000 hours of, pre of playing. <laughs> That's awesome, man. At least you look good doing it, right? <laughs> yeah, I hear you, man. I, I, I need to play more Pudge. I don't play him enough. Nope, no graphics on the cape. It's just gonna be dirty and raggedy at the bottom. We're gonna rip it up. Amazon Hoplite? Interesting. Legion Commander the Lone Soldier. I think I had like Last Warrior as the placeholder like folder name where I was we're saving all the files. So I mean yeah, you're kind of on the right track there. Legion Commander. <laughs> Mars is Roman, not Greek. Hey, Helbers. Oh, see that? Yeah, the music went back down. It's so weird. I don't know what I'm doing for the sounds here. Had it fixed for a bit, then it messed up. I don't know what the hell's going on. I have to troubleshoot the sound notifications uh, later on. brush and two birds one stone here yeah that's working yeah we'll have to cut it a little uh, another time here 
the right idea going on. How polite? I don't like how polite. That's a weird word. A uh, thermopolite? Dude, like... <laughs> that does not roll off the tongue easy. Hey, Waltz. Legion the Slapper. Done. <laughs> Nobody else tried. This guy nailed it. Yeah, I mean, you can use copywritten stuff. Of course, like, historical stuff is not copywritten, right? But, I mean, we don't want to use, like, the actual, like, Spartan, you know, little A kind of thing right off the bat. Maybe we change it a little bit, I don't know. To animate? Uh, Blender. I'm basically going to be using Blender to animate it. To create it, we're using ZBrush, Softimage, XNormal, Photoshop to texture, etc, etc, etc. So that information can be right on the FAQ below. Opalites are Greek lancers. Ah, interesting. Still a weird word though. Still weird. <laughs> I won't lie. I like where your head's at though. Are you using a Thesaurus right now, sir? Tell the truth. I know, right? Sparta? This is Sparta? Actually, yeah, those are LT. Her duel. Oh, we should do a new font for her duel wins or whatever. I think we can pull that off actually. Like that idea. far away here. Get this edges to pop out really nice in the normal map. definition here. I can see the scrolling text on my left out of my left peripheral. Must be a lot of ideas for names going down. Let's see if we're working, let's see what you guys got.
<laughs> Peloponnesian commander. Laconian Amazon. I don't like the word Amazon. Peloponnesian. Uh, I don't know, missing a little bit of marketing. A dual disc instead of the shield. Uh, now we have something else planned for the shield, man. Something ages like. Uh, thank you, Hitster. You should see it moving in game. Oh my god. All the tendrils like move about. Liji, Liji on the duelist. <laughs> and you'll give us five percent revenue. Wow! Thank you, man. That's wow. Thank you. You got it. Deal. Always when we're making important brush strokes. It's like it knows. Oh, you don't want me to stop you right now? Fuck you. We're gonna we're gonna do an auto save right now. Oh, we have not touched this area at all. Yeah, we have touched. Oops, oops, oops. Alright, alright. Over this area right here. Is he now? Oh my god, what happened? Have you been messing with my head? nicer a little bit of a smooth in there good measure and flatten out this other side nice and crisp mm -hmm. a little bit of a kink here and there but we'll be able to fix those no worries no worries
you saw that our Dark Lotus icon for the collection is a GIF. Yeah, man. Can I find a way to make it work with the Arcana? Uh, you mean this particular set, this Legion Commander? Uh, yeah, we'll we'll test it out. Make sure that it's uh, it works with it. Don't hold the pen too tight. I know, dude. I, I kind of was there for a long time. I need. That's why I'm taking a little bit of a break here. <laughs> DJ up to his old tricks of writing some lore. I'm reading DJ's story real quick here. Hmm. Dude, you write this really quick. <laughs> Age of Shield or not. Do I love Russia? I've never been to Russia, man. Well, do we have Russian friends? I know, right? Probably pretty good, but we're not done. We can do better. We've gone this far. That's a little more. Problem with like super smooth large areas. It takes a while to get them. Um... The equal high quality all the way across. All the smoothness needs to work together. It's uh, tricky and time consuming. I think it'll be worth it. Probably pretty good lines.
Maybe the shield hangs up on top of the back of the cape. That is something we were messing around with um, to uh, kind of make up for the volume of the, the flags missing. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we would need to do a whole bunch of other animations to make that work. And that'd be a lot of extra work, but it might be a fallback if uh, the cape ends up failing for whatever reason. Good idea, man. Oh god, how are we doing on time? Fuck. 3.30 in the morning. Oh. Might not quite finish the cape. Might have to jump on it tomorrow morning. Oh, we're closed though, we just have to do the, the detail. The... And still have a bit of polishing to do over here actually. It's so long. Can't even rotate. Should be an option for uh, contributing lures. <laughs> when do I wake up? Noon? Yeah, man, around then. Depends how late I go working. The lure kind of uses. <laughs> hey, Narco, what's up, man? Nemesis of the Horde. Hmm. I think right off the bat, uh, Horde makes me think of orcs. You know, Dota being related with Warcraft 3 and everything. That was my first thought. Straight up. new here but is it possible to do a quick walkthrough of the process of making the gear did you commander from the start to the end sorry for bad english no don't worry about it. your english is fine dude uh well i won't go through the whole process but here's the low polygon that we created in soft marsh low polygon stuff right uh and we uh brought that these items that i created into zbrush exported those as obj's uh brought them in here as low polygon you can see here and then I subdivided, which adds polygons. And then I sculpted a little bit and added polygons and sculpted a little bit and added polygons and sculpted a little bit. And we, this is where we're at. 
So we keep adding detail and detail and detail until it looks really, really nice and smooth and crisp and we'll bake out a really nice normal map and texture for us to get started with to actually do the colors inside of the game and then bake it onto the low poly stuff. In a nutshell. EY, that doesn't sound like a bad deal, man. Alright, Sav, good luck, man. 6.30 in the morning there. Whew. <laughs> Alright, Legally Blind Man, have a good time, man. Or hopefully it's not too bad of a work day. Try trim smooth. Good for edge work. Yeah. Brush is great for these little things. Those little corner bits extends them really nice. Something the H um, polish tool can't do. I was not available to the workshop, man. Sorry. Can't, even if we wanted to. Stop making carry sets. <laughs> prejudice, man. That's prejudice. Oh my god. I was on the wrong tool. Wanna make a skin for CSGO? Uh, yeah, we, we wanna eventually. It's way too busy, man, to dive into that stuff right now. Yeah, I need more polys back here. Uh, maybe, maybe I can get away with it. I'm gonna try. And not need another subdivision after all. Gonna smooth this stuff out a bit. What about drawing on the cape? Nope, no drawing on the cape. I wanted red with dirt and then tattered at the bottom. I wanted to pop. Uh, the detail will be on the shield and the lance and all the other items, but the cape's gonna be nice and uh, iconic. It's huge. I don't want any little details to break this, uh, this, this design apart. And then we're gonna tatter uh, the end over here somehow. But yeah, this 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 will look good. This is big. Oh, Jen, General, you don't have to yell, man. I'm right here. I can hear you. You don't think this is different from the other Legion Commander sets? Oh man, this is miles apart from anything else that that's out there for Legion. Some people think we're going too far, this guy thinks we're not going far enough, we have to make it like an alien or something. 
Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. A general playing Legion Commander is heresy. <laughs> Tide steps on on her cape. Uh, it's a long cape. You can probably turn around and still fight in it. Oh hey Vince, what's up, man? Welcome. Good morning to you, sir. I want you to read the chat, dude. I can see it. I'm pretty good with the chat. If you, if you put my name on there, it'll turn red and I can see it as well. You don't have to scream. It's all good. Hey White, you dig this to the set? Almost. Th uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you. I mean, even if you guys use Sith or Manny or Sith happens, all those will turn my chat red. Here, let me show you. Drag it onto the screen. See? See how it's red? You type Sith or whatever, it'll do the same thing. So you don't have to type out the whole live workshop thing either. Make it easy for you guys. That's right. Get back to work, Val. He's working on our Nature's Prophet C brush that uh, we have uh, designed for a live workshop chest. doing a really cool job too. We'll show you guys that next week. That was a good flattening right there. That was way too easy. Ape loops dope! Thanks, man. Thank you. We've been spending way too long on it. <laughs> Again. Anytime I do cloth, whether it's wraps or huge pieces of cloth or a little long cloth, I spend way too long on them, but at least they look really good, right? I think. I don't know. I don't know. Orchid has a lot of money to spend. Well then. Let me direct you to our, <laughs> our sub button. I'm joking, I'm joking. Is the kick gonna be animated? Absolutely gonna be animated with club physics. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Color of the helmet? Oh, it's gonna be her color, her, uh, her armor colors, you know, that that gold, but we're gonna dirty it a bit more and damage it a little bit more. She's a hell of a warrior. She's been through hell and back. So we're gonna we're gonna damage the shit out of it. Cut it up. Massive part of the character has gotta look perfect. Absolutely, well, I agree, man. You're still doing the cape? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, but look at it. It's coming. It's almost there. It's looking cool. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh, come on, Seabrush. Just center on the part I want you to center at without telling you. Oh, it's my fault. It's my fault. Can't play, play my old little Seabrush for this. And this part's getting a little too thin, so not gonna look good in, in, in game. I'm trying to flatten it more. That'll work. Way better. Is this 3D Max? Right there, man. Thank you, Crud. Don't let 
Ogre? Dude, we did a hero bundle for Ogre. Uh, type, uh, here, right there in the top corner, vote SL12. Type that in and you'll see uh, some of the ogre, some of the different sets that, hero bundles that we created. Check those out, man. <laughs> Too much X. There is too many accents. I agree. But see, it's not the problem that there's too many sets for some heroes. Uh, as long as you make something really unique and really cool, um, I don't really don't care how many sets have been made for a particular hero. If we have a really good idea and a really good design, uh, we're gonna go for it. Who cares if people have done a lot of sets for them? It really comes down to the the strength of the design and the idea for me. Well, it's starting to look pretty decent. Now I'm gonna push some of these little pieces a little bit deeper so that we get a, a darker ambient occlusion when we bake this out. Do with some painting because I know I wanna want this part darker, so why not just do it right now? Even if it gets a little pixelated, it's fine. We can fix that really quickly in Photoshop. But those little sections will be fine. And of course it'll be also darker, so it won't make that big of a, an issue. larger cut there. Flip that out. Good. Gonna finesse this a little bit over here. That works. Blame me that you were up at 4 a.m. <laughs> Well, I am also up at 4 a.m. That makes you feel any better. We're both fucked. And this part we're going to uh, really, really dark, so we don't have to finesse it too much. Just a little bit. Show up well in the low poly. Be alright. And if some of these lines get a little too close to each other when it gets rest down, uh, we can always merge some of them. Like, uh, I mean, these guys in here with uh, just painting over them in Photoshop. So that'll be our fallback. But if it works, then great. If not, fix it a little bit. Photoshop. Always good to have that option. It's 
school and shit going down. All right, Ariel, thanks for hanging out with us tonight, girl. See you tomorrow, maybe. Do it later today? Oh man, I wish. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Uh, like uh, you can see here, we're supposed to do the shoulder piece tonight. That didn't happen. We're gonna be slammed tomorrow, but we'll be on here hopefully. Oh my god, DJ. Don't. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> that goddamn dress. Narco, if you have time some, or Live Arch, if you have time some, time someday for your taste, the Wraith King looks too comic-y. So maybe you could do something that is closer to the original one from Dota 1. Well, no, we, we can't go with the skeleton. I mean, uh, Valve stepped away from that for a reason, so we can't go... We can't go back in the skeleton skeleton route. We have to do something. We can't. I mean, we can do something less comicy, but uh, not skeleton. We'll come up with something cool for him then. We do have a hero bundle for him that we did. Check that out. Star S. Uh, what is it? Vote capital S L twelve. Is your hero bundle for him there? Couple items. It's a whole bunch of special effects and ability effects. Pretty cool. New tombstone. New uh, refresher blade for him. New stun. Pretty cool. Oh, we missed this side, huh? Alright. Time. Four in the morning. Hey, OBS hasn't crashed in a few hours. That's good. Enigma, not available in the workshop, man. Can't do it. Skeleton like armor? Uh, yeah, but then you wouldn't be able to do like a skeleton face because then, you know, because of the whole China thing. So that kind of puts a, a kink on things there in general. Default sound. Mm, yeah, I get what you're saying. All right, I think the cape main areas look pretty decent right now. Thing left to do for it. Well, this part looks kind of fudged. Let's see. We're waiting for another subdivision for this part, but I think I can get away with uh, with this subdivision. Maybe. I think we can.
Getting tricky here. Not a lot of polys. I'll be able to pull it off. Oh shit. The root. <laughs> you can't tell. Look at the helmet, man. I mean, it's missing a whole bunch of other stuff, right? And you're not seeing the texture. But yeah, I mean, if you see just the default model without any textures, 